well, I uh, saw that it was going to rain today, so I made sure to get my rain boots and my rain jacket. But you forgot something. You didn't do the curly hair. <laughs> You're right. Oh, two for three. That's right. okay. Nah. That's all right. As long as you got the umbrella and the rain gear, right? Mm -hmm. Let's take over to the latest satellite and radar imagery. Looping over the past six hours, we're tracking some cloud cover into eastern parts of the state. And we're going to see some more clouds beginning to build in from our west. That's going to be ahead of a cold front that's going to bring some rain chances into the forecast, especially this afternoon. Now, temperatures is pretty mild because of the cloud cover. That's helping keep some of these temperatures across the surface on the warmer side. We're seeing those readings in the mid to upper 60s across a good chunk of eastern Kentucky. A little bit cooler there across the Virginia and Tennessee border with readings in the lower 60s. But some of that cloud cover across the viewing area, definitely keeping those temperatures on the milder side. Now, bus stop forecast only showing a high of 74 degrees later on this afternoon. So despite that cloud cover, I still think we're going to warm up into the low to mid 70s. Of course, those showers becoming likely along with the chance for maybe a few thunderstorms as well. Now here's a look at live pinpoint Doppler, a regional shot showing you the setup. We got a high pressure that brought all the sunny and nice weather over the past few days. It was over western parts of the state yesterday. That's now beginning to weaken out and it's working off towards these. And here comes this cold front we've been talking about in tracking over the past 48 hours, finally beginning to make its way across the Ohio and Tennessee Valley regions. And that's also going to track eastward and in behind this, bringing some cooler air along with some of those showers, even a few thunderstorms across uh, mid Missouri there heading towards Wichita and that's the same rain that's going to begin to impact us later on this afternoon and into the evening hours and if we get some sunshine out that's really the big question for our forecast today. We're going to deal with mainly cloudy skies but some peaks of sunshine if it begins to make its way out well that could help fuel some development later on this afternoon could lead to maybe a stronger thunderstorm with some torrential rainfall and maybe some gusty winds but still not expecting anything severe. Here's a look at future view. We start things off at nine o'clock this morning. Of course temperatures on the milder side in the mid 60s. We only climb into the mid 70s later on this afternoon and then that cold front begins to track across central especially southeastern Kentucky later on this afternoon into the first part of your evening. Evening. You see in some of these darker greens, yellows, even some red showing up, indicating the chance for some of the heavier rainfall along with those embedded thunderstorms within this line of showers as it tracks across eastern Kentucky. Now, the good news is this is pretty fast moving, and as it begins to track across southeastern Kentucky, it will do so later on tonight and into early Saturday morning. A few lingering showers possible into early Saturday morning, but I do think most of it is dry out by mid to late morning. Unfortunately, cloud cover going to hang around through early Saturday afternoon, and then yes, sunshine begins to break back out. Temperatures much cooler. Look at this. Highs only reaching the mid 60s and overnight lows actually expected to drop into the low to mid 40s. So a chilly start for your Sunday, and that's going to be the case once again in the Sunday night and early Monday. So we're going to see temperatures back into the lower 70s for highs and then overnight lows are going to fall back into the 40s. So a chilly couple mornings ahead of us here. As far as rainfall amounts are concerned, anywhere from about a quarter up to a half inch in some locations. So not a heavy rainfall event. But of course, we definitely need some of that rainfall here across central and eastern parts of the state. Seven day forecast where your weekend is always in view. Lower 60s for high Saturday back into the lower 70s by Sunday. High pressure regains control. And then we're going to watch a weak cold front slide through early next week. And it's going to arrive late Monday night and early Tuesday, bringing a few showers. Otherwise, we dry things back out with temperatures into the lower 70s by next Wednesday and Thursday. Let's get a check of the refrigerator art this morning. See what we have behind the magnets. Love showcasing all the wonderful art from the kids here across eastern Kentucky. Nice photos sent in from Melissa over at May Valley Elementary. Time now is 512. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WYNT.